I'm here in Grove City at Advanced CNC Machining with Derek, and we're going to be talking about a brand new tool from Vargas that I just watched you run. <laughs> but really quick, man, when you were setting up to run this tool, you shared this story about your programmer. He didn't yeah. believe you. What was that about? Yeah, so I gave my setup sheet to my operator, and uh, he asked me, say, hey, where's the rest of the tools? I thought we were doing some tapped holes. And yeah, absolutely. That's the only tool you need. So you only had one tool on the sheet. That's right. He's expecting three, four tools for this. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was a funny moment for sure. That's awesome. So how going through, obviously brand new tool to the shop, we're testing yep. it to see if you can put it into your other production uses. Yeah. So what was the material we put it into? So we ran aluminum today. Okay. And when we're looking at the aluminum, how was it setting up the programming? Because it was a brand new tool for you. Yeah. What was that like for you guys as a company? The programming was a little challenging. It's okay. different than normal thread milling. Yeah. Um, it's unlike any other tool we've run before. Um, but Vargas was great with helping us out, um, uh, working directly with my programmer to make sure that everything was running right for us. Okay, so it's not like the Vargas rep came by and like, hey, here, try a new tool. No. And he, he gets out of there and leaves you guys all alone. No, absolutely. So you worked through the programming side of it. What about yep. speeds, feeds, all of that kind of stuff? Uh, the speeds and feeds, we got a baseline. Yeah. Uh, and then we dialed them in at the machine with, with the rep present to help us out. Um, and we got good threads and they gauged well and we were happy. And you were able to get the thread gauge in and all that good stuff. Yep, absolutely. That's always awesome. So now based on the testing that you saw and the results of this new TMDR thread mill, would you start putting it into your production? I think we would. Um, I think it would it would be a specific application. Yeah. Um, the the rep from Vargas was telling me that he's seen it where you have limited tool magazine availability. Yeah. Um, we don't have that issue at Advance. <laughs> no. Uh, with with the giant tool magazines that we have. But that being said, um, when we have holes that are difficult, uh, or we're looking to limit the number of tool changes in a part, maybe for cycle time. Yeah. Uh, I absolutely could see using this tool in the future. Yeah, and that's something that's really cool about this tool is if you only got to put one quarter 20 thread in as an example, you only need one tool to do it, one tool change. Right. It's different if you're coming out to do a plate of 37 holes or 77 holes or something crazy. Yeah, exactly. And another application, if we're only doing one hole, if we need to keep that positional tolerance tight on a, th on a threaded hole, uh, this would be a good application for us. That's a really cool idea. Actually, I hadn't thought about that, man. It's clear you're in this role for a position. Thank you so much for sharing about your experience using the TMDR. Yeah, absolutely.